Right. To teach you the truth of the Bible, man. Go ahead and teach you the truth, boy. Go ahead. Get that, get that priest and prophet, uh, prophet uh, a strong hand, man. You understand? Bring it out the truth nice and heavy, man. Bring it out the truth. What we don't understand is everything that brother just said is it has to do with us not receiving protection, uh, not receiving correction, man. It has to do with us hate and evil. Everybody want to talk about Christ loved everything. Christ hated evil. Did Christ follow God? Absolutely. And guess what? The Bible said that you have to hate evil, man. Take me back over to Psalms 55 and 20, man. We got to understand why it is that we destroyed as a people. Why we don't want to give an ear to hearing something that's right. Everybody want to hate the Bible and think that this thing is what we should follow and this thing is what we should follow. The Bible tell our daughters that they can't be strippers. The, the Bible says that we cannot get high, that you can't do crack, that you can't do heroin, that you can't kill your baby. The Bible says you can't love your slave master. You understand? The Bible says you can't have sex with another man's woman. But we sing about it all day long. We rap about it all day long. The Bible goes against the culture of America. But we want to hate the Bible. But we hate America. That's what we say. We say that we've done wrong in America. Which we are. Don't get me twisted. But for us to notice that we are not treated fairly in America. That we have not been given justice here in America. But yet we attach ourselves. Thank you, sister. You understand? Yet we attach ourselves to the culture of America. How does that make sense? This is why the Bible calls us brutish, man. Another one of those definitions was that it, the, the lack of having a human sensibility, man. We don't have a sense to notice the danger that's around us, man. You realize a stripper feels like they're safe. You, you understand that, right? You have sisters out here that think because it's only fans and they're online that they're safe. No. There's no safety without the Lord, man. There is none. And we're going to have to get that through our head, man. Thank you, brother. Grab you a flyer, man. Grab you one of them flyers right there. You understand? And this is why we need the Lord's protection. Everybody that's screaming love, 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 and all lives matter, in this Bible, God only focuses on the lives of blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Right. Those are the lives that God focuses on. So that's what we should focus on, man. And this is why we need the Lord's protection. Psalm 55 and 20. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 55, verse 20. He hath put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. This right here, this is black people's lives right here. Listen up, read it again. Oh God, he hath put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. We have been at peace with America, man. How can you blow up a people? Get a people stuck on every single drug. Throw our fathers in the prison system. Lock up our sons. Hold out our sisters. You understand? Molest our children. And America has, we have not retaliated against America. And we're not up here telling you to retaliate in a physical manner, in a violent manner. That's not what we're saying. But for all of this to be done against us, we still remain peaceful with this people, man. We still love them. We still participated in their traditions and their culture. And we can't, just, we can't see why we destroyed yet. We can't see why we destroyed as a people. That's why. That's why our wisdom sucks. Our wisdom sucks. We do not have any wisdom at all. The wisdom that we should be receiving is from the Lord, man. Because then we would know that, you know what? There is no answer. The answer is I have to separate from this people. That's what we would know. But that answer ain't pop up in our heads yet, man. Keep reading. Oh, God. He has broken his covenant. And listen. Our oppressor, not only have they waged war against the people that's been at peace with them, after everything they've done to us, after all of the lynching, you understand? After all of the dogs, after all of the fire, after all of the neighborhoods that you took from us, you understand? After being the last hide in the first fire, guess what, man? He broke his covenant as well. You understand? He broke his covenant as well. Is that is that not our is that not the white man? Is that not our oppressor who's broken every single promise? Go ask the Native American Indians. How many promises did they did they break with the Native American Indians? How many promises did they break with us? How many times was we told that we go fight in this war that we receive all these benefits? And you got back and you got hung. You returned to the same neighborhood that was destroyed. Right. You returned right back to Southeast. 
Right. You would turn right back to Northeast and Northwest. Right. You would turn right back to Chicago. Right. You would turn right back to the same goddamn hellhole. But you're going to fight in another country. Make it make sense. This is why God says that we destroyed, man. This is why. We hate to hear the truth. That's why. We've been the ones that have been lied to over and over and over again. You understand? We've been the ones that's been destroyed and lied to. But we still love. Black people, love for our oppressor is not the answer. Love for your own people is the answer, man. Keep reading. Come with God. Verse 21. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. That's the type of enemy we're dealing with, black people. We're dealing with an oppressor who speaks smooth words. Who speak buttery, buttery words, man. Who finesse us all the time. You wanna, hey, black people out here think that they don't get finesse. I hate to tell you, yes you do. In about, in about one year, in a couple months, and four years later, and another four years later, and another four years later, we're gonna get finessed over and over again. You wanna know why? Because we continue to vote for a people, vote for a person who doesn't understand our struggle, don't understand what's going on in our lives. We get finessed all the time. We get finessed every Sunday. We've been giving up dollars and dollars and dollars. The church been getting bigger and bigger and bigger. We've been getting finessed for a very long time, man. This is why we need the Lord's protection. The quote. You understand? Read. Come on, God. But war was in his heart. Uh-huh. But war was in his heart. You understand? War was in his heart. You understand? That's what's going on here. When, when we decide to trust in this oppressor instead of trusting in the Lord, we have to understand one thing that's been shown to us over and over again. War is absolutely in their heart. You understand? When they go in our neighborhoods, you understand, and destroy it, and then leave it in ruins, when they put lead paint on the walls for us to suffer, when they uh, publicize the deaths of our people, those are acts of war, man. Those are acts of war. When they gave us a white Jesus Christ, was an act of war. Because our king is a nigger. He is a full-blown black man. That was, a, that was an act of war against us, man. When you take the greatest man that's ever walked the face of the earth and make him one of you stinking devils, that's an act of war, man. You understand? Drop that scripture. Take me over to Psalms 37 and 39. We got a whole lot. The problem is the Christian church don't. The Christian church got a lot of words, but ain't no truth in that Christian church, man. Right. They got a lot of words. They always got a lot to say. They want to show up after the body done drops. We got to show up before the body drops, man. We out here to save the lives before the body drops. You understand? Because that's the job that they're supposed to lead on. But the problem is everybody want to say they love God, but we don't really trust in God. Huh? We don't really trust in God. Because if we did, we would trust his way. We about to read that now. Go ahead. 37 and 39. You understand? Slide over to the left. You understand? Psalms 37 and 39. Read. No sweat. The brother going to grab the scripture. We have to understand that the truth is we have not trusted in the Lord's way. The Lord's way is we can't get high. How many black people don't trust that? Huh? How many black people still want to get high? Well, guess what? You don't trust the Lord's way. How many black people still want to love everybody? Huh? Don't be ashamed. Raise your hands. You understand? How many black people still feel like you want to love everybody? Guess what? We don't trust in the Lord's way because God don't tell you to love everybody. You understand? How many black people think that they still want to abort their babies and it's my body, my choice, right? My body, my choice. Well, guess what? You're not trusting in the Lord's way because the Lord's way is you cannot kill your baby. You understand? Read. Oh God, this, this the book of Psalms, chapter 37, verse 39. Uh -huh. But the salvation uh -huh. of the righteous is of the Lord. But the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord, man. Everybody want to talk about salvation. And we need saving, and we need saving. That's right. And it's going to come from who? The Lord. Of the Lord. It says that our salvation, black people's salvation, is going to come from the Lord. It's not going to come from Sleepy Joe. It's not going to come from Joe Biden. It ain't going to come from Donald Trump. It ain't came from Barack Obama. It ain't coming from none of them. The scriptures tell us that our salvation is going to come from the Lord. Now, if we trusted in this Bible, who would we be seeking protection from? You understand? But the, the problem is, everybody say that I got the answer, I got the answer. And you don't. You don't understand this enemy. God understands this enemy. 
God understands this oppressor. God understands this colonizer. You understand? Our leaders do not understand. You understand? Read. Oh God, he is their strength in the time of trouble. And he is their strength in the time of trouble. It says the righteous, the obedient, the ones that listen, the ones that realize, you know what? My life is a little bit messed up. How many black people? I don't know one. How many black people have not felt like their life has hit rock bottom before? Huh? Huh? If you're black or Latino, there's a time frame in your life that you felt like your life was at rock bottom. And it says in the time of trouble, the righteous seek the Lord. In the time of trouble, praying just ain't enough. In the time of trouble, we have to also do what God says to do, man. We have to trust in the Lord's way. Read. Oh God, verse 40. And the Lord shall help them and deliver them. And the Bible says, and the Lord shall help them and deliver them. Why? Because we understood that the Lord was our salvation, man. Because the righteous, the obedient, the wise understand that God is the only one. Based off of history, the problem is we don't know history. We don't even understand what's going on today. When we were getting murdered like this in the past, guess what? The man in this Bible after a while said, you know what? My life is effed up. My life is all the way messed up. And I need to seek something. I need to figure out some answers. Well, guess what? How many answers we seeked out and we still dying at an enormous rate? We still oppressed. We still in poverty. You understand? We still working three or four jobs. And we ain't get the answer yet, huh? Right. Keep reading. Oh God, he shall deliver them from the wicked uh -huh. and save them Why? because they trust in him. Say it again. Because, because they trust in him. No, that's a lie. Let me see that. Say it again. Because they trust in him. Why, should he, why is God going to deliver them? Because they trust in him. Well, guess what? That's why God delivered us, man. That's why God said he's going to bring us salvation because we trusted in him. Now, ask yourself, do you trust in God today? If you do... We have to stop sinning. We have to stop sinning so that we can get the Lord's protection. The reason we don't have the Lord's protection is because we don't trust in him. We just read it in the Bible just now. But everybody want to hate the Bible. Listen, the Bible is your best friend, man. The Bible and these scriptures and the King James Version 1611, that's your best friend, man. That's the thing that's going to keep you safe when you adhere to it. But keeping it there for decoration, you can see it ain't done nothing for us, right? Tell me a black household that don't got a Bible in it. In one of your drawers. You know it's there. You know it's somewhere in the storage bin. Well, guess what? Just happening in your house and keep your house safe. Following what's in it will keep your house safe, man. You understand? Drop that scripture. Take me over to Proverbs 3 and 7. I'm going to tell you why we need the Lord's protection, man. What we have as answers sucks. It doesn't work. When we try to participate in the culture of America, we lose. We catch enormous L's. We think that the get-rich-quick schemes work. We think selling drugs is going to work. Our wisdom sucks because we end up in jail. We end up dead. We think when, when our lives is terrible, we go shoot up a school. That's what we think. That's what the oppressor does. That's not our culture. Black people don't shoot up schools. Latino people don't shoot up schools. But without the truth, without the Lord's protection, without the Lord's guidance, guess what, man? We go and dabble in, 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 in our oppressors' our ways, and guess what? We die. We get shot on the scene. You don't make it in the custody safe. You're going to die. You understand? You, there's no smart way of trapping. The moment you try to go flip that brick, you're going to get flipped right into the car. Right. It don't work. You understand? Proverbs 3 and 7. Read. Oh, God. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 3, verse 7. Nice and love. Be not wise in thy own eyes. That's the problem, man. Tell me a person out here that don't think they're wise. Why? Because America told you when you 21, what our parents tell you? When you got your own car, you got your own roof over your head, and you can feed yourself, you can do what the hell you want to do. Wrong. Wrong. There ain't a person out here that's humble enough to say that I don't have the answers. Everybody think that they know best. Because what your mommy and daddy tell you? Huh? Your opinion matters most, sweetheart. No, it don't. Your opinion sucks. That's what, that's what happens. Your opinion sucks. We should pay attention to the facts, man. Read it again from the top. Oh, God. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 7. Go ahead. Be not wise in thy own eyes. The Bible says, be not wise in thy own eyes. That's why we need the Lord's protection. Because for 400 plus years, the Native American Indians thought they were wise in their own eyes. Latinos think they're wise in their own eyes. 
niggas is fixing wetbacks. We think that we wise in our own eyes. And that's not the case. We do not have the answers. The answers are all in the Bible, man. We have to understand that. We have to understand that the Lord's protection, the rules that he gave us, protect us. This ain't no magical thing. Let's let this noise pass, man. This, this ain't no magical thing. When the Lord, the, the law statute commandments that God gave us, that's, it ain't no magic. If it says, sister, you cannot dress like this. Why? When we see all of, the, all of the terms that we lead in, when we hear deadbeat daddy, and you ain't gonna be, you ain't gonna be S-H-I-T like your, like your daddy. Do you hear East Indian woman say that there ain't no a good East Indian men? Huh? Do you hear Chinese woman say that there ain't no good Chinese men? Do you hear it? No, it don't exist. But a lot of these slogans exist in the black and Latino community. That's because we don't understand that the law, statute, and commandment that God gave us right here on this sign. If you ain't on this sign, I feel bad for you. You understand? But this Bible right here is for these people right here on this sign. That's who it's for. Whether you like it or not, you got to go take that somewhere else. You understand? But the rules that's in this Bible is what would protect us. What's one rule? The Bible say never trust our enemy. So we would never get played by the white man. We would never fall into their traps. We would never enter their drug game. We would never try to be the mafia. But everybody want to be Scarface. You're not Scarface, brother. You're not. You're not Scarface. You're not. You're not uh, 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 Nancy Reagan. You're not. You're not the trap queen, sister. You don't know how to flip drugs like like uh, like Nancy Reagan. Nancy Reagan know how to put it in a tire and fly it across the world. You know you can't do that. You understand? But our wisdom, the Bible tells us not to follow after the wisdom of our eyes because we don't have that wisdom. We got the wisdom of our oppressor. That's why we think the answer is to get high. That's what we think solves all of our problems. Black people are tired of working. What's the answer? I can't wait to get off and go smoke. Black people work three jobs. What's the answer? Boy, I can't wait to get off and go smoke. You go to your little Thanksgiving gathering, which the Lord hates too. He hates the turkey, the mac and cheese, the collard greens. He hates it all. And But you can't go do that without smoking either. You can't be around your children without smoking. You understand? Your car smells like trash. You sisters that smoke, you got about 50 perfume bottles on your dresser. About 50 Victoria's Secret perfume bottles because you're trying to get rid of the smoke. Because it stinks. It makes your breath stink. It makes your hair stink. You can't get a job. What's the answer? Smoking is still the answer. Everybody want to say smoking is a medicine, right? Marijuana is a medicine, right? But listen, most black people, we've been smoking for how long? 10 years? 15? 20? This medicine don't look like it's working. It don't look like it's doing the job because it's been in our lives for, since we were kids. If you see me taking Advil and it ain't working, you're gonna look at me like I'm crazy. But that's the thing that we do because we don't, we don't follow the wisdom of the Lord. We follow the wisdom of our oppressor, man. You understand? You got more on that? Read. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. The Bible says fear the Lord and depart from evil, man. That's the wisdom right there. That's the answer to fear the Lord. And black people, we don't understand. The pastor's not gonna tell you what does it mean to fear the Lord. We gonna pull that scripture too, man. We gonna pull that scripture too. You understand? Give me, hold on. Give me Proverbs. Give me Proverbs 2 and 11. We gonna, pull, we gonna pull that too, man. The Bible tells us to depart from evil. We have to hate evil. That gets you the Lord's protection. When you hate the holidays of America, we're safe. But on Halloween, Oh boy, our children are in danger because that's a child molester's favorite holiday. He gets to dress like a diaper. He gets to dress in a diaper at the front door and give your children candy because America's holiday is not in the business of keeping us safe. Go look at the crime rate jump out the roof on holidays, but it's supposed to be all love, right? How many relate? How many divorces happen on Valentine's Day? It's supposed to be about love, chocolates, you understand? It's supposed to be about love and chocolates and flowers. How many of us die on these days, man? That's what we have to focus on. You got that How many of us break up on Valentine's Day? But Valentine's Day is supposed to be about love. Right? How many families get destroyed on Valentine's Day? Huh? How many of you mothers, y'all get sick to the stomach? There, I, I, know, I know there's a sister out here that got mad because your man got you one rose. 
You ain't got to lie. Yeah. Right? You either got mad because you didn't get what you want, or you found out that you wasn't the only woman. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That seems really relatable, huh? Huh? That seems real relatable. It seems too good to be true. It's the truth. We know. We absolutely know. You understand? You got the scripture? Uh -huh. Read. It's the book of Proverbs chapter 2, verse 11. Uh -huh. Discretion, discretion shall preserve thee. Listen, black people, this is what we have to understand. The Bible is absolute wisdom. It's knowledge. Everybody want an OG, right? Everybody love to listen to the OG on the block, right? But guess what, man? Up in the ISUBK, we the OGs of this Bible, man. We understand this thing. And this right here, this is game. Everybody want to hate the Bible, but here's a good answer right here. Here's your multiple choice right here. Read. This Come on, God. Discretion shall preserve thee. Say it again. Discretion shall preserve thee. One more time. Discretion shall preserve thee. Now, that's a lot of key words in that scripture right there, man. The problem is, once again, we read this Bible in the eyes of Christianity. So we don't understand just how much weight this holds. The Bible says discretion will preserve thee. So seeing how we not preserve, seeing how we not safe, maybe we don't have discretion. Maybe we not being discretion, uh, using discretion when it comes to the choices we decide to make in this life, man. Right. Maybe, maybe we, we have terrible uh, uh, decision making, right? How many of our relationships, our sisters and brothers get their hearts broken? Brothers turn and get emasculated. Sisters try to act masculine. How many of us get destroyed? You want to know why? Because we don't have no discretion. Martin Luther King, sorry to tell you, he didn't have any discretion because he told us to hold hand in hand with our slave masters. Right? That's what he told us. And guess what? We died. On his deathbed, he said that he felt like he led us into a burning building. And we living in that burning building today, man. It's hot. It is hot in America for blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians. We understand that, that burning building that Martin Luther, Martin Luther King was talking about. You want to know why? Because the leaders that we decide to follow don't have discretion according to the Lord. I'd rather die like a man than live like a coward. There's a ghetto up in heaven and the south. Black power! Uh, 144,000. I'm just trying to make 144,000. 144,000 I'm just trying to make 144,000 One body, one face, one lord Feel like I can take over the world with one sword 144,000 men on one accord Not being in this army is something you can't afford Real niggas across the board, ain't no suckers round us You was looking for the truth, well that's how you found us Now it's time to lace your boots up We got the order from the king, round the troops up Let's go to war and die defending this nation if we got to Ain't no stopping us now The chosen people love the power Standing strong like a man Cause in our camp it ain't no cowards Honey, for it for grand Nigga, it's step before the sign Rather die like a man Than live like a coward There's a ghetto up in heaven and it's ours I'd rather die 